morning guys we're gonna pray oh my god i feel a stirring i'm just trying to wait till later on to do this good morning y'all god is good mm. good morning guys we're gonna do bible study later on we're gonna do bible study either later on this this afternoon or tonight but i am feeling led to do um this prayer We're going to pray, guys. We're going to pray. Um, and our scriptures for this week, if you guys are used to the channel, you know that we're big on praying um, on the channel. We have our corporate prayers. We have our scriptures that we profess. We just pray. We're big on it with the prayer line, with the videos. Even when we're doing a Bible study video, we still open up and pray. We have playlists on prayers. So the word that God gave me for this week that we're praying for I'm going to be, we're going to be praying Leviticus 26, 4 through 13, um, Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14, and what was the other one, Lord? Psalms 24 is what we're going to be praying for, but I want you guys to repeat after me and receive this prayer. If, if you are in agreement with this prayer, make sure you say amen and be speaking this and confessing this, amen. Let's, de let's decree and declare this, Lord God, and I pray for you guys this morning, but we praying corporately, amen, Lord God. Bless me in every air of my life in the name of Jesus. Lord God, bless me financially. Lord God, bless me spiritually. Come on. This week and forever. Come on. Lord God, bless me emotionally. Lord God, bless my mind. Lord God, bless my emotions. God, bless my soul. Lord God, bless the works of my hands, Lord God. Lord God, bless me spiritually in my journey and relationship with you. God, bless me in ministry for my purpose, my destiny, and your kingdom. Come on, God, bless my travel. Bless me, God, as I come and as I go. God, bless my vehicle. God, bless my home. God, bless my residence. Bless my promised land. Come on, bless my womb. Bless my loins, God. Bless my understanding. Bless me with wisdom and knowledge, God. Bless my relationships, God. Bless my children, God. Bless my marriage, God. Bless my family, God. Bless my relationship with myself, God. Bless my relationship with others and bless others' relationship with me. God, bless my life. Bless me, God, in my soul, my spirit, my body, my physical world, God. Bless me, God. Bless everything I put in my hands to, God. Bless me, God. Bless me in my job. Bless me in my education, God. Bless me as I'm learning and growing in you, God. Bless me, Father God, in my career field. Bless this move, God. Bless with everything, Father God, concerning me, everyone concerning me. Bless me, Lord. Bless me, Lord. And thank you, God, for doing it. Thank you, God, for what you have done. Thank you, God, for the new thing that you're doing. And thank you, God, for what you will do. Let's seal that prayer together, guys. In the mighty name of Jesus, we do pray. Amen. Amen. I'm going to read this. I'm not going to be before you guys long because I got to get back on the road. But I, I just had to be obedient and come on and release this for this week. Amen. We're going to... um. We're going to, these scriptures, I'm reading them to you, but we're praying them also as prayer. So what that prayer that we just prayed, we're, 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 we're praying these. And I've already prayed over you guys this morning, spoke multiple decrees and blessings over you. But I speak that you guys are blessed, you're favored, you're successful, you're well able. Just continue to walk in the things of God and believe God. Amen. Leviticus, I'm trying to look for my thing because my um seem like it's kind of hot so I can kind of put my hair back. But I really can't find it right now. I don't know, but Leviticus 26, 4 through 13, I encourage you guys to confess this over your life this week. If you don't have time to confess it word for word, at least say, God, I confess and I receive and I decree Leviticus 26, 4 through 13 over my life. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14 over me, my family, God. Uh, Psalms 24, God. Confess these, confess the word. You guys that are used to the channel know we're big on the word of God. We're big on speaking life because... The word of God stands forever. The word of God has power to change your situation. The word, the word of God have power to, to change and transform you. The word of God have so much power. So whoever you believe in God for, if you guys have any additional prayer requests to what we're praying, leave a comment below or send me an email. You guys know I'm faithful to pray for you guys. Amen. So let's let's speak these affirmations of the word of God. These blessings, these rewards for obedience. Come on, we're claiming this for this week. We're claiming this for each and every area of our life. Leviticus 26, 4 through 13. I'm going to read it verse by verse. Verse 4. I will send you rain in this season. This is what the Lord sent to us. 
I will send you rain in this season and the ground will yield its crops and the trees of the field their fruit. I don't have time, guys, to break this down today. We've read a lot of these scriptures before and broken them down verse by verse, but just receive them and meditate on them. Amen. Verse five, your threshing will continue into a grape harvest and the grape harvest will continue into planting and you will eat all the food you want and live in safety in your land. Brother and sister, this is your word. These are your promises. I'm standing in agreement with you by faith. God wants to do this for you and he is doing it. So just be open to receive God, however he want to move, whatever he want to do in your life. This is a brand new week. We're going to finish this year scroll. We're going to get everything that God got for us today, this week, this season, this hour, this month, next month. And just for, especially 2020 and throughout the rest of our lives. Amen. Amen. Look, verse six, I will grant peace in the land and you will lie down and no one will make you afraid. I will remove savage beasts from the land and the sword will not pass through your country. Verse seven, you will pursue your enemies and they will fall by the sword before you. Verse eight, five of you will chase a hundred and a hundred of you will chase 10,000 and your enemies will fall by the sword before you. Come on, and, and it's going to be different words that stem, stand out a little bit more for um, different people. Excuse me, but receive it and claim it because it's corporately for each and every one of us. This is what God gave me. And I literally just had to leave from where I was to come in this car and release it because this thing was jumping in my spirit. This could not wait till later on. Hallelujah. Five of you will chase a hundred and a hundred of you will chase 10,000 and your enemies will fall by the sword before you. Verse nine, I will look on you with favor and make you fruitful and increase your numbers and I will keep my covenant with you. And I'm going to keep reading, but let me say this, whether you're standing on the word of God by yourself, whether you're standing on the word of God with um, people that God connect you to like this channel or other ministries or your church home, whether you're standing on the word of God with your kids or your friend or your other brothers, sisters in Christ or your husband or whomever you stand on the word of God with. Make sure that you're just standing on it because the word of God has power and the word of God is working in your life. Let's read it again. Verse nine. I will look on you with favor and make you fruitful and increase your numbers and I will keep my covenant with you. Verse 10. You will still be eating last year's harvest when you will have to move it out to make room for the new. Verse 11. I will put my dwelling place or my tabernacle among you and I will not abhor you. I will, verse 12, I will walk among you and be your God and you will be my people. Verse 13, I am the Lord your God who brought you out of Egypt so that you would no longer be slaves to the Egyptians. I broke the bars of your yoke and enabled you to walk with your heads held high. If you received that Leviticus 26 through 4 through 13, if I were you, I would receive all of it. But if you receive any part of that, say, God, I received that and I'm open to that in my life. And if you have people that you want, that scripture, you're standing in the gap for them, interceded for them, for God to release that over them. We believe in it, in Jesus' name. Amen. Claim it for them too by faith. Next, we're going to go to, let's go to Psalms 24. That's another one that God gave me. Psalms 24 for this morning, for this week. These are the scriptures, verses that we're standing on for this week that we believe in God for, guys. Amen. Psalms 24, we're going to read all of it. Verse 1, the earth is the Lord's and everything in it, the world and all who live in it. Verse 2, for he founded it upon the seas and established it upon the waters. Verse 3, who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Thank you, Lord, for Jesus. Verse 4, so let's go back to 3. Who may ascend the hill of the Lord? Who may stand in his holy place? Verse 4, he who has clean hands and a pure heart, who does not lift up his soul to an idol or swear by what is false. 5, he will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God his Savior. Did you hear that, brother, sister? You will receive blessing from the Lord and vindication from God, your Savior. When, when what? When you, when you build on these foundations, when you continue to build on it and live it out and, and, and do what God needs us to do in this verse 1 through 4. When you continue on in it. Amen. You abide in him. He abide in you. Six, this, I'm sorry. Such is the generation of those who seek him, who seek your face, O God of Jacob, Selah. Pause, meditate on this. Amen. Verse 7, lift up your heads, O you gates. Be lifted up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Verse 8, that was verse 7, verse 8. Who is this king of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Hallelujah. 9, lift up your heads, O you gates. Lift them up, you ancient doors, that the king of glory may come in. Verse 10, who is he? This king of glory, the Lord almighty. He is the king of glory. Selah. Hallelujah. And I know you all feel it for you that are receiving this prayer and speaking these affirmations out of your own mouth and even following along with me or reading. I'm telling you, God is doing some wonderful things for us. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. No weapon formed against us shall prosper. 
God is faithful, guys. Let's um, close with this. Deuteronomy 28, 1 through 14. And I've been standing on a lot of these promises for years. Many of you know that. Many of you have been standing on promises as well for years too. We just decree and declare these together. We're going to do verses 1 through 14. And I'll read this verse by verse. Blessings for obedience and then we'll close. Verse um, 1. If you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all his commands. Thank you Lord. I give you today the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Verse 2. All these blessings. Somebody say all these blessings. All these blessings will come upon you and accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Verse 3. You will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. Four, the fruit of your womb will be blessed in the crops of your land and the young of your livestock, the cows of your herds and the lambs of your flocks. Verse five, your basket and your kneading trough will be blessed. Verse six, you will be blessed when you come in and blessed when you go out. Verse seven, the Lord will grant that the enemies who rise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, but flee from you in seven. Verse eight, the Lord will send a blessing on your barns and on everything you put your hand to. The Lord, your God, will bless you in the land he is giving you. Verse nine, the Lord will establish you as his holy people as he promised you on oath if you keep the commands of the Lord, your God, and walk in his ways. Verse 10, hallelujah. Thank you, God. Then all the peoples on earth will see that you are called by the name of the Lord and they will fear you. Verse 11, the Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, and the land he swore to your forefathers to give you. Before we do 12 to 14, a word for someone. Do not allow your situation to keep you bound and by what you're dealing with to keep you bound and say, well, I'm not going to praise God. I'm, I, I can't. This is difficult for me. I don't know why I'm here. I don't know why I'm going through this. I'm going to praise God when I get my victory or if I get my victory. Don't allow the enemy to trap you up or trick you up like that. You have to decide to praise God now. God has the power, the authority, the ability to change your situation. Not only does he have the power and ability and authority to do that, but he has the power and ability to change you. Change your atmosphere. Cause you to be a change agent like we talked about before, right? So don't be moved alone by your situation. God knows that we have feelings and emotions and he knows what concerns us. That's why we are to cast our cares on him. That's why we are to keep him first. That's why we are to seek him. That's why we are to go to him with our burdens and allow him to work it out for us. But God didn't bring you here just to keep you here. There's something greater than this level. So don't die here. I encourage you, check out the other playlists and videos of encouragement and prayers on this channel. There's something on here that would encourage you. If you're watching this video today, you're watching it for a reason. And this is a channel of hope and love and encouragement. Amen. So you be encouraged. Amen. Choose today to press in. Choose today to believe God. Every day is not going to be the same. Every day is not going to feel the same. But God is good. Amen. We may not always go through what feels good, but God is good. Amen. Sometimes you may have to offer God that sacrifice of praise. Amen. Let's read 11 again. 11 through um, 14. 11. The Lord will grant you abundant prosperity in the fruit of your womb, the young of your livestock, and the crops of your ground, and the land he swore to your forefathers to give you. Verse 12. The Lord will open the heavens, the storehouse of his bounty, to send rain on your land in season, and to bless all the work of your hands. You will lend to many nations, but will borrow from none. Verse 13, the Lord will make you the head, not the tail. If you pay attention to the commands of the Lord your God that I give you this day and carefully follow them, you will always be at the top, never at the bottom. Verse 14, do not turn aside from any of the commands I give you today to the right or to the left, following other gods and serving them. You all be blessed. I speak victory over you guys today and then throughout this week and just over your lives. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. Amen. No weapon formed against you shall prosper. You guys be encouraged. You guys be blessed. I love y'all to God be all of the glory. God bless you.